Our business expense allots $40 each for dinner. I plan on grabbing as many miles as I can. OK. You got to fill me in on the miles thing. What is that about? Are you talking about, like, frequent flyer miles? You really want to know? I'm dying to know. I don't spend a nickel if I can help it, unless it somehow profits my mileage account. So what are you saving up for, Hawaii? South of France? It's not like that. The miles are the goal. <laughs> That's fine. Remember <laughs> that up in the air? Oh, what a great movie. And no offense to Mr. Clooney, but for a lot of Americans, the rewards are the point. They don't want just the miles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. that's true. Well, and, and programs are very popular. According to one estimate, 41% of us have a travel rewards credit card. And now the government has called a hearing to see if you're really getting all of the perks you promised when you sign up. Our senior business correspondent, Christine Romans, is back again with mm. a closer look. So this has gone to the level of the yeah. government looking into it. What's going on? They want to have a hearing. Well, look, that last year they found a case of a bank that was promising um, rewards perks and not delivering when you signed up for this rewards credit card. And so the government wants to make sure you are getting all of the rewards that you're signing up for. And it's not just a bait and switch. Mm -hmm. And these are really popular. Millions of us have these cards. And I think a lot of people don't follow through to make sure you're getting every single little dollar and point that's mm -hmm. out there. I was just about to say, so for the people watching this morning, including myself, we <clears> have <throat> them, what should you know? You know, you should know that it's up to you to follow through, make sure you're checking the balances, make sure if they promise a bunch of points at the beginning that you get those points. Don't leave points on the table. Some people have yeah. the average Points card has 55,000 miles or points on it. And I think people sometimes forget that's really valuable. Mm -hmm. And really watch when you're signing up. Look for the best deal when you're signing up. Some of these sign-up bonuses for these cards can be, you know, the equivalent of miles that are worth like $1,000. Yeah, so true. really shop around there. Yeah, I mean, so if you are looking, how can you price them out or compare and contrast. Yeah, well, you want to really be careful about a couple of things. Some of the big banks have very high annual fees. So if you're getting a bunch of points on the on the front side and then you're paying $500 for the best mm -hmm. diner's card, you know, that doesn't really help. Uh, watch the interest rate. Again, the big banks, many of the 15 big banks have 30% interest rate. So Whoa. if Ugh. you sign up for the points and then you carry a little bit of a balance, you just lost all the benefit yeah, of that because you're help. paying so much in interest. And again, with, with interest rates so high, I say this all the time, Look at my face. If you can't pay it off at the end of the month, please don't buy it and don't open up a new credit card if you think you're just going for the points, but you can't carry the balance. So if you wanted to choose the best travel credit card, in your opinion, or one that you like, which are the top ones? So I really argue a lot with some of my personal finance friends about this. I really like <laughs> the miles, and I like um, the fact that I get the miles. I have a family of five. I use those miles to pay yeah. off a ticket when we're all going someplace, and it helps the budget. Other people, though, really point to the cash back. If you are mm -hmm. spending a lot, sometimes the cash back is the best deal. So I say you have to do the homework for yourself. Mm -hmm. There's not really a one-size-fits-all of the best answer. card Christine, for you. You what, really do. What happens at these personal finance parties you go to? <laughs> you guys just go around and compare and contrast rewards? We don't spend any money. We do yeah. save money. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's get a check of the forecast. What's up? I'm all for the miles. I like it. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's the deal right there. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.